All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are officially 10 days away from the prime card. And there's one fight that we haven't talked about too much, and that's King Kenny versus Anthony Taylor. Now, listen, when this first got announced, I was like, okay, that's a cool fight. It's all right, but it's kind of random. But then I looked at the rankings just earlier today, a couple minutes ago, matter of fact, and I saw that they're right behind each other. King Kenny is one slot ahead of Anthony Taylor. There's actually a lot on the line in this fight. I could definitely see the winner taking on the better man out of Salt Poppy versus Slim. Obviously, King Kenny's had ups and downs all through his career. He's had wins, losses. Losses. He's had everything. But in his last couple of fights on Kingpin, I think that he's had a hype train start to build, which is kind of rare for somebody that it's not their first fight. Like, obviously, we've seen other guys build a hype train, but it's always like undefeated, 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 undefeated. Kenny started a hype train in the middle of his career. He done so well in that Winderson fight, he literally had Wade stood up, probably erect. Wade was going ballistic in the back. That's great. Good for King Kenny. But I also think that, um,. Winderson's a little bit different than Anthony Taylor because you want to talk about a hype train Anthony Taylor is coming fresh off a of victory against Salt Poppy who has arguably other than like KSI and Jake Paul Let's be real. He has the biggest hype train in influencer boxing straight up And so for Anthony Taylor to get that victory I know you can critique him you can be like oh he did what he had to do to win it wasn't actually entertaining He was just hugging the whole time that's exactly my point. That's where the experience comes into play. And that's why in this fight, Anthony Taylor versus King Kenny, I'm selecting Anthony Taylor to get the victory over King Kenny, but it's it's close. I'm going 60-40, and the reason why I'm going 60-40 is because I still don't know what to expect from King Kenny. If I'm being 100% honest with you, his performances in the Kingpin tournament shocked me. I did not expect that. Don't get it twisted. I've been dick riding Kenny for a long time. I, 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 I'll, straight, I'll say it. I did definitely dick ride Kenny. Like, I, 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 I was like, he looks good. You know, but seeing Kenny do it the way he did it was nothing short of sensational. It was beautiful boxing. So it's a 60 40 for me because of Anthony Taylor's experience. I think that um, he can find a way to win. But I also think there's a possibility that King Kenny goes in there and just outboxes Anthony Taylor and uses his range because he is taller than Anthony. He's got a couple of other physical advantages over King Kenny. Um, and if he's learned to use those to his advantage, then I think he can get the victory. But right now I'm going 60-40 in favor of Anthony Taylor. There's only one way to find out though. October 14th, make sure to tune into the Prime card. It's also headlined by KSI and Logan Paul taking on Tommy Fury and Dylan Dennis. Don't want to miss this one. Uh, you also don't want to miss any of my videos. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and go and follow me over on the Instagram. And I will see y'all shortly. What's the beast to a dinosaur, nigga? Pterodactyl mixed with a T-Rex. T-Rectodactyl.